Once upon a time, there was a boy named Liam. One of Liam's favorite things to do was to go on hikes. One day, when Liam was walking down a road near his house, he saw a path in the woods along the side of the road that he had never noticed before. And there was a sign right next to the path. The sign didn't have any words on it, but there was a picture on the sign. And he couldn't quite tell what it was, but it kind of looked like a ghost. Well, that's kind of weird. Oh, well, it was probably nothing. So he decided to start walking down that path to see where it led to. And as he walked down the path, he could feel the wind picking up as it blew through the trees. And after walking for a while, he looked up at the sky and noticed that it was getting darker. It was dusk. And just when he decided he should probably turn around and go home, he noticed that the moon was coming out. And the moon was shining down on an opening in the path ahead. I wonder what's up there, Liam thought. So he kept walking up until he got to the end of the path. And when he reached the end of the path, he looked around and was amazed at what he saw. It was a road with buildings and houses going up and down the street. Where in the world am I, Liam thought. I wonder what this place is. It looks like a little town or something. I never knew there was a little town back here. So he walked up and down the road, but he didn't see any people walking on the sidewalks. And he didn't see any cars driving up and down the road. And he looked up at the night sky and he saw the moon illuminating the town below. Liam looked around at the houses and the buildings and didn't see any lights on. Didn't look like anybody was home. And then he noticed There was a moonbeam shining down on one house in particular. It was as if the moon wanted him to notice something about that house. So, out of curiosity, Liam decided to walk up to that house. He walked right up to the front door and he knocked. And when he knocked on the door, the door opened all by itself. As if it was trying to say... Come on in, Liam. So Liam slowly crept into the house, and with every step he took, he could feel the floorboards creaking. The only light inside of the house was from the moonlight that shined through the open windows. Hello? Is anybody home? Nobody answered. And as Liam walked in, he saw a staircase at the front of the house. So he started walking up the stairs. Now, most kids would probably be a little scared walking around in a creepy, empty old house like this. But not Liam. Liam was very brave. And for some reason, he felt like with all the moonlight shining in the windows, it was okay. And when he got to the top of the stairs, he walked to the end of the hallway where he saw another window. He looked out the window over the town, and just like before, there was no sign of life. This town was empty. And just then, all of a sudden, Liam could hear something moving in the room down the hall. And he heard a noise that went... He crept over to the room, and he put his hand on the doorknob. But right as he started to turn it, he could feel that someone else was already turning the doorknob in the other direction from the other side of the door. It turned out Liam wasn't alone in this house after all. Liam twisted the doorknob harder as he fought with whoever or whatever was behind that door. When he finally twisted it hard enough, he pushed the door open and found that he couldn't see anyone on the other side. This room was empty. Who was doing that? Why couldn't I twist that doorknob? What's going on here? And that was when Liam realized he hadn't wandered into any ordinary house. And this was no ordinary neighborhood. 
He was in a ghost town. And Liam was about to discover something very creepy lurking in that room with him. But that's a story for another day. 